<laughs> okay, guys, I'm back with another video to talk more about, you know, my previous ideas on things for my town that I think would make things better, give people jobs, uh, give people uh, places to live, all that type of thing. Of course, right in here, you know, before I've mentioned about how it would be neat to put like an apartment complex right in here, maybe like kind of like a rounded uh, apartment complex uh, you can watch that video that I made about that if you want to know more um, it's on a hill right in here and this land is for sale uh, they still got the signs up and everything so yeah this this would be a perfect spot for that or whatever you want to put in there okay maybe another restaurant or something like that uh, right in right in here is a Chinese restaurant so you know Probably be a good idea to pop in another restaurant. I mean, hey, we could use all the restaurants we can get around here. Some Get some variety going, okay? Okay, then over here, like I had mentioned about, you know, if we could ever get a brand new hospital built, then we, uh, once that's done and everything's moved over to the brand new state-of-the-art hospital, we can tear this hospital down and actually tear all this down right in here and put in some new types of buildings uh mike could even locate a uh a nursing home <coughs> that's located oh, i don't know maybe here 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 whatever uh there might can be a new building that is much needed uh, that would accommodate the needs of the elderly a lot better than what is currently available. Uh, it could be larger and just have more equipment, more rooms, more places for the elderly to go to, you know, to have movement, to move around, to, you know, and it could be better staffed with more employees to take care of the needs of the elderly and, just you know have it be a more enjoyable place so it might could be put right in here you know all right then over in here that could be a location for you know another type of building either a, you know it might could be a hotel motel put in here or um i don't know maybe uh a new type of library, state-of-the-art, or an art museum, or maybe, uh, I don't know, another restaurant, or, you know, there, there could be so many ideas uh, utilized for this area right in here, okay? Uh, might could even be, a, you know, a drug treatment rehab center, or maybe even a... Um, center for uh, long-term rehab for people who um, I'm not talking about necessarily drugs but like people like if it's connected like say if we've got a nursing home right here well beside it could be a, a, a physical rehab for people who've been injured in their life and um, maybe they've had knee surgery or they're uh, quadriplegic or whatever it is that's wrong with them, but yet they don't want to be put in a nursing home. Uh, you know, no offense against the elderly, but putting all these young people with the elderly, sometimes that can bring them down. You know, people usually want people within their age range to deal with. Although, you know, people can be of different ages who've had surgery or, or whatever, but... You know, in my opinion, keep the old folks home for the elderly and keep a rehab, uh, long-term rehab facility for people who need that. You know, separate the two. Because, like I said, you know, and I've seen it. I have seen people who were, um, you know, that were maybe in their 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever, who were injured and it was going to be a long-term thing and they needed rehab whatever but yet they started getting depressed when you put them with the elderly um you know they're they're not really connecting on the same wavelength so to speak 
And, um, you know, I just think it would be better if they could be in, you know, a different type of setting and deal with people who can take care of their specific needs, okay? Because nursing home staffs, they tend to just want to deal with the elderly in the nursing home facility. And I, I just feel like it would just be better all around if there was a separate place that would accommodate, you know, just long-term physical rehab people, okay? Uh, even if it's, you know, something that someone has that they will never get any better and they're always going to be, you know, disabled or whatever and need care still until they become elderly or a senior citizen, you know, it'd be nice if they could just be in this facility to where maybe they can have a better chance of dealing with people within their own age group, okay? I just feel like that's just better. I just think that it, you know, to me it's just kind of ridiculous using nursing homes for rehab. I mean, I just don't think that's the good the answer to that. I just think there needs to be another facility built for that. And I know I'm carrying on about this, but that's how strongly I feel about it. Okay, moving on. Okay. Um, of course, down this road somewhere, there's patches of woods. There could be call centers or a call center somewhere in here. You know, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, and of course, this parking lot is tow up. I'm just going to tell you people straight up. Anybody who has driven in this parking lot knows exactly what I'm talking about. This poor par parking lot is overdue for, <laughs> you know, a repavement. And I don't care if the owners is listening or whatever. This parking lot needs to be revamped. It is holy and everything else, and it's just, it's in bad shape. So, it definitely needs fixing. Um, so, yeah. I, I just had to say that. <laughs> okay. And then moving on out of town. I'm trying to think of what else I've talked about as far as over in here. And nothing's popping in my head yet. So, I'm going to move on to the drive-in uh, movie theater that is in Russellville. So we're heading, nor even though it's it's going side to side, this is actually heading up north up the four lane, right, right through here. Okay, and so we're moving on out of town. Okay, heading towards Little. Okay. Alrighty, and maybe I will be able to recognize it. Okay, let's see here. Maybe I will pass it. I hope not. Let's see. Okay. All right, right here. <laughs> Duh. Okay, right here is King's Drive-In, okay? This property, there is a sign on the side of the road, and I believe it says there's like 40 acres that's for sale, okay? So this whole property is for sale, um, but I, I don't know if it actually includes the drive-in itself or if it's just, you know, property around it or whatever, but I, I do know that there is a sign. If you go down the highway... You will see the sign right along the side of the highway. Um, the original owner has died of this. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I would hate to see it fall into disrepair. Uh, but here's an idea that I have, okay? I have mentioned before that I think it would be really cool if Russellville could get, like, an inside movie theater. But... Um, it would be nice instead of putting it downtown because at first I thought about, you know, putting one downtown and everything. But due to the traffic issues and all that and the 
uh, bad parking, or at least the bad parking that we currently have. I don't know if that's going to change anytime soon or not, but I just think it would be better to build a brand new inside movie theater somewhere along here and maybe just keep this up for nostalgic purposes. Um, maybe still kind of keep it running and give people kind of a choice between, you know, that and the new theater. Um, you know, whatever, whoever buys this property, whatever they want to do. Um, but it would be neat if the drive-in, some parts of it could be designed, like, that. you could have your regular uh, movie theater rooms going on uh, to where it's just like any other movie theater, but there could also be like a special room that actually gives the vibe and feeling of being at a drive-in. Um, so like if they have to tear this down or whatever, well, they could build a car-like, uh, you know, structures to where people can kind of can sit down in them and have their drinks and all that, their popcorn and whatever, inside this little fake plastic piece of a car or front end of a car, and they can sit and watch a movie. You know, whether they choose, whether the company could choose to have it outside or they could choose to, you know, have it encased in a building and maybe have the uh, ceiling set up to look like stars and all that type of thing to and maybe even sounds of crickets and you know different things and maybe even holographic things to give the impression of being outside but yet you're actually inside watching a movie on a big screen that type of thing you know but if they're going to do it I feel like this would be the perfect place I mean why not you know, it would make use of this property and, you know, be a good thing for the community and give people something to do. Okay, so, and as I've mentioned, I think on through here somewhere, you know, heading uh, into Littleville, uh, it'd be nice to maybe have a Costco, which I know they're, they're building a new... Um, Dollar General Grocery Store. They have like a regular uh, grocery store. Uh, excuse me. A regular Dollar General store. Okay, but it uh, you know they're they're not or they're going they're building a new Dollar General Grocery Store beside that building, and I think. You know that once they move everything over, that that other building is going to be turned into something else or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just you know somewhere in here it'd be nice to add you know more I don't know shopping centers or more you know things for this town. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, I'm sure Dollar General probably wouldn't care too much for that, but I just think it would be a good idea. But heading back into Russell, you know, it would be nice, like I've stated before, if we could get, like, you know, an inside uh, mall. I would love for it to be a castle mall. Uh, and I think up along the side of the um, four lane would be, like, the perfect spot. And, of course, I'll have to back way on up, heading back towards the uh, south of town. Let me go on back. Um, okay, let me head on back, back this way. Uh, uh, before I do that, you know, this whole thing needs to be revamped, in my opinion. Um, you know, they've got a Waffle House and all that in this shopping center, but it would be nice to add more stuff, I think. Uh, and, of course, there's a Tokyo restaurant in here. Uh They've got good food, uh, so yeah, it'd be nice to have more different different types of, of restaurants and whatever. Maybe a park put in here. That would be a good idea. Um, but anyway, back over here, okay, at this part of the uh, overpass or whatever on the four lane. Okay, 
you've got some apartment buildings and there's a pizza hut right here there's a credit union all that type of stuff over in here okay it would be nice to be able to put somewhere in here my castle mall idea um i don't know maybe up in here somewhere um it could be built and also beside it could be an apartment complex or maybe a hotel all that could be put in there um i just think it would be a good idea you know it'd be something good for this area i think it would bring in tourism and all that type of thing uh, so yeah, that would be a good thing for that and then on over on the other side of this uh, of The funeral home and the ballpark um, Area and Sloss Lake Over in here somewhere would be nice to put my theme park idea I just think that would be and this is on highway 24 and for those who don't know, uh, this is heading uh, east on Highway 24, okay? But somewhere up in here by Sloss Lake, I just think it'd be a good idea to, to build the theme park and everything. I still believe in that idea, just like I still believe in the uh, mall idea that I have, the castle mall. You know, it just, yeah, I have like a big, huge statue of a horse in front of it. And then also have a Colosseum that looks like half of a watermelon uh, coming out of the ground. I think that would be awesome. So, yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's quite a few things that could be done with this property if, if it does happen to be for sale or whatever. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to shut up for now. <laughs> I could keep talking, but I'm sure other people wish I wouldn't. So, <laughs> Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.